today I want to talk to you about one of the most powerful of trees, which is the oak, and one of its smallest of seeds. I was wandering in these woods the other day and I came across an abundance of acorns. So I picked a few up and I thought I'd come back here to talk to you about them. And when I came back I found this feather. Now it could be an owl feather or it could be a duck feather, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I will take it as a gift and sometimes anything you notice may be intended as a gift for you. So acorns symbolise good luck and protection and they also symbolise prosperity, personal power, strength, overcoming obstacles um, and protection. And with strength there also comes health and youthfulness. So acorns can symbolise health and vigour as well. Folklore says to carry an acorn in your pocket to bring you youthfulness. Some traditions say carry three in your pocket and carry them in either a red or a white bag. Carrying an acorn in your pocket is also a charm for good luck and is also said to conquer loneliness or alternatively to attract your true love to you. Acorns by association with the oak tree bring power and the strength to overcome obstacles and if you're facing extreme challenges in life then it's said if you sleep with acorns under your pillow you'll find the solutions and help in the problems. If they are hung in your window they're also said to bring prosperity to your home or alternatively if you place them on your windowsill they are said to avert lightning. Now this association with lightning is uh, because of the association of the oak tree to the god Thor. Now oak trees famously attract lightning and if a, an oak is struck by lightning it can shatter into a thousand burning pieces um, which may be why the oak tree was associated with the gods and with immense strength with immense power. It could be why the oak was sacred to the druids. But carrying a, if you're lucky enough to find one, a piece of oak that has been struck by lightning is an immense good luck charm as well. And is a talisman of extreme power. The planting of acorns, some say by the new moon and some say, people say at the full moon, is supposed to be a very good spell to bring prosperity. However, it's a sign of endurance. The oak tree won't give out acorns until it has reached full maturity. So any prosperity spell that you may use an acorn for, we're looking at long-term gain on solid foundations. So it will not necessarily bring immediate results. Birds are bothered. Oh, I'm getting eaten here. But, but rather it's looking towards long-term investments, stability and growth, stability and prosperity. Um, and so in many ways the acorn also represents security. Hello squirrel, am I looking at your acorns? And so in many ways the acorn also represents security. 
Of course, acorns are an important food for many species, so not to overpick and not to take more than you need, um, because many animals will need them as a winter supply. However, just a word of warning, don't eat acorns raw, they really need prepared if you're going to use acorns in any food. Um, they can be poisonous, so the best way to prepare acorns is to soak them first to remove the tannins from them. Although many people make acorn coffee, I've, I've never tried it so I couldn't comment. So acorns aren't only associated with the masculine, although the oak is a masculine tree, but they're associated very strongly with the goddess. Um, the swine, the sows of Keratwin and also of Freya, are said to dine off the acorns. Um, and also, every witch was said to wear an acorn necklace. Now this tradition comes from Gerard Gardner, who um, related it to Diana of Ephesus, who was seen on statues wearing acorn necklaces um, as a symbol of the goddess, as the symbol of a witch. Um, and he also said that in Celtic tradition, many other mentions were made of goddesses wearing acorn necklaces. So I thought this would be quite a good fun thing to do. So um, I saw some acorn necklaces were drilled through either end, holding them together. Or also you could, if you're very skilled, drill through because eventually when the acorn dries the cap falls off drill through the nut and the cap to create a little necklace. I did it with a drill, you could do it with a needle, but you would have to get a green acorn, it was quite soft at this age. Um, and so yeah, the way making of an acorn necklace was associated with witches, and so I hear was also a sign amongst witches so that they could recognise each other, such as the carrying of an acorn or the passing along of acorns to each other. As a, a sign of who they were. I don't know how true that is. So anyway, there's an abundance of acorns out at the moment. Um, I think the squirrel will be annoyed if I took all of them. He'd want some to bury. Um, so anyway, there you go, the importance of the acorn and a few little acorn spells. Okay, thank you for listening and I hope to speak to you again soon. Bye.